What's up everybody? All right, so this video is gonna wrap up my final thoughts on the Leg Maker True Cold Air Intake. Uh, I really do like this intake. I feel like if nothing else, because it dumps temperature so quickly when compared to the stock or the Hellcat system, I think that even if there's not a lot of a performance gain, and there is some, but not a ton, uh, the fact that it does drop temperature so quickly helps to gain uh, at least a semblance of consistency. So uh, if nothing else, it does aid in that. And, you know, hey, it looks pretty cool too. So I, yeah, it's kind of tough to say that I would spend the money just for looks. I'm really not that kind of guy, but I will say this, uh, consistency is a big part of it. So yeah, if you don't have one of these things and you got a stock intake, go for it. Uh, just make sure you got a cutting tool. But that's not the point of this video. Uh, these are my final thoughts on it, some tips and tricks. So first thing you're going to notice, uh, I did mark the tube with some black tape. Basically what this is there uh, to do is if this kit ever uh, comes off the car for whatever reason, uh, I want to be able to uh, know exactly where this 90 degree elbow stopped with this pipe, where it stopped on the coupler, uh, and on down the line in the system. Uh, mainly because there's no stops on the tubes themselves so again it basically just uh, visual notes for me uh no no other reason and no they do not go into the coupler they just stop at the coupler it lets me know where to stop the pipe going into the coupler now other things <sighs> this is the annoying portion of it you do need to get you some foam uh some dense rubber foam uh, this foam is going to have to work until I can find some thicker foam to take its place, but this is some uh, weather, uh, window weather uh, stripping. It's uh, just a dense black foam, double-sided. You can get this in any big box store. Uh, comes in various widths and various thicknesses. So uh, this is definitely something you're going to need to have. And where you're going to put that is obviously anywhere that that pipe either comes into contact with or becomes close to uh, body parts. Uh, without that foam, either you're rubbing on the carbon fiber or the carbon fiber is rubbing on the piping and it squeaks and it's annoying. So anyway, get some of that foam. Get you some wide foam. Uh, if you can't find any wide foam, just go to a big box store. Get you some of that. Wedge it down in there and there you go. Not exactly, uh, not exactly an awesome looking fit, but you know, that's the way it goes with these things. It's hot rod and stuff. It's not always perfect. One other thing I wanted to show you was the orientation of that filter, at least from the top side, so I hope this helps. It's pointing uh, down into the corner of the car. That's uh, the best way I found to mount that filter. And it's about as high up into this 90 as I can get it. Uh, to give you guys an idea as far as how high that is, that's not doing us any good, uh, is it? Here we go. Um, that, that, cut, that pipe is actually up to about right about here. So it's pretty high. I don't know if you can really see how high that is, but it's actually pretty high up into that 90. Um, just to give you guys an idea how high up that filter is. Uh, and again, if, if there's any concern about high water or water splashing or getting up in there, uh, that filter is pretty well protected. Uh, if you're going through water that's that high, uh, believe me, you've got some significant uh, other issues to deal with. Um, but, uh, you know, that's just the way it is with these things. Again, this car is not a daily driver, so if you do not have a daily driver, this would be a good intake to go with, provided you got a cutting tool and a little bit of patience and a buddy and probably a case of beer, you'll be all right with this. Um, so that's it. I just wanted to give you guys my final, the final look at this, you know, before I go uh, and start doing some more work on the car. Uh, again, yeah, I recommend the intake. It, it works fine. Uh, I did not put a different filter in the Hellcat airbox. Um, that's always an option, but I'll tell you, as fast as this thing cools off, I, you know, let's say it's, they're, they're dead even. This thing is on the car now. There's no sense in taking it off. In other words, they're dead even if I put a higher flow filter in the, in the Hellcat airbox. I was using a Hellcat filter, which already flows quite a bit anyway, so... Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and stick with this. But anyway, there's the final look at that intake. Hope that helps you guys. If y'all are thinking about buying one of these or if you're in the process of installing one or if you're, uh, you know, thinking about it and you haven't, uh, you've heard they're kind of a pain in the ass. Well, there's some things that are a bit of a pain in the ass about them. And uh, if that helps you make up your mind, cool. If you get one, let me know what you think about it. That's a wrap. Adios.